Our family's been doing a lot of walking during the pandemic. And during the week after Halloween, we begin to notice that most of the fall decorations had come down to make way for Christmas. Yes, it seems as though our neighborhood was beating the retail stores and displaying an array of inflatables and lights. But I think the message is clear. We all need Christmas this year. Christmas is a season of light. We light our Christmas trees, we burn holiday-scented candles, we adorn our houses and bushes with lights. In our city, there's the great Christmas zoo lights, the Baton Rouge general holiday lights, the random neighbor who's displayed more lights in his front yard and is going to be blown away by next month's power bill. The Christmas narrative is all about light. It's the bewildering star in the sky that drew the Magi from the east. After we learn of the babe born in the manger, we're taken to the hills outside of Bethlehem, where a glorious host of angels greet the shepherds in a dazzling display of good news. One minute, they're cuddling in the darkness with their sheep, and the next, the next minute, the sky lit up like the 4th of July. But the unique light display on the grazing hills outside of Bethlehem, we learn the grandest intention behind Christmas, to express the radiant light of God's love for us and to share it with others. As one person put it, we learn to light a candle in the darkest moment of someone's life. Be the light that helps others see. It's what gives life its deepest significance. I wonder if we might expand our capacity to share light this Christmas. What would it look like if you and your family intentionally and thoughtfully reached out to neighbors, coworkers, fellow church members who might need a brighter light in their life this Christmas? What if the greatest gift you can share with those you love is experiencing giving light to others together?